Hello and welcome to my home. My name is Jackie. Um, this is a, a very small Timu haul, but I wanted to I say drop tape. We'll just forget that happened. And uh, I just wanted to do this because there's some stuff in here I need. And I was going to do it later, but I'm like, you know, I just think it's done. And there, yeah, this is not the best sleep. Mm, this is not good. Hopefully everything's still in the bag. You know, these get opened up in customs and they're not treated that well. So one of the things about Timu is I don't think I'd be comfortable buying things in a glass. I have ordered one acrylic thing that came broken and one glass thing that came okay. Um, but would I do that as a regular? No. Now that I've done this, I'm not doing that. Because I see what these I see what these poor packages look like. So let's take a look. I bought a purse hook because I have a purse problem. Hi Milo. Are you gonna come visit? Are you visiting? Milo's visiting. Yeah Milo. Hi. Are we gonna say hi to everyone? And there's a there's a there's Watson. I think they hear the plastic and they're like, is there a treat? I'm like, no, no, no treat, none. You know, this is a hook that goes over the door. Nothing special, just something I wanted to try out about hanging a bunch of purses in a different manner. Let's see, I'm gonna take some of the stuff out. Hopefully it won't be too loud. Ah, if I drop all the things. I've thought about just pre-opening these and just, but I kind of like, I like watching people opening things and first impressions and one of the impressions is something came out of a bag. Hopefully it's... So I got a seatbelt extender. I had already purchased one and I liked it. It worked out. So I have two... Well, I might not have two cars, but I had two cars. We're, we're one's currently being evaluated. I bought a couple of these cool wall hooks that... All my purses on because I needed there's a couple spots on the wall that didn't quite they need this so I needed to get some more of these and my very unfun let's see what this was this is supposed to be washed with light colors not ironing hand wash it only do not so something was supposed to be universal mini 38 oh this is the seat belt it just unraveled from this wrapping um these um, I'm back in the office along with a lot of other people and we have to have lunch mostly in the office because there's nowhere to eat around my office and so I said you know what I'm tired of getting disposable plastic um, so I got some reusable this is a really tiny babyish fork uh, this might be for a kid's lunch box but there's a spoon which I like to spoon I have to be honest I like to spoon spoon fork and chopsticks Therefore, winner in my, my book, because I eat with a lot of chopsticks. It's one of my preferred ways to eat. So I've got two kits of these to throw into my lunch bag. And then one to put in my desk if I forget something. And then this is, this is kind of neat. I wanted to show you guys this one, because this is something not everybody has. has. Not everybody likes bar soap. I happen to really like bar soap. So I use... Um, I'm always looking for soap dishes that are functional, um, not just holding soap where it sits in its own water and then you lose the um, the soap, essentially. It just gets, gets slime and dissolves because that's what soap does when it gets wet. Um, this is a waterfall soap dish. So you suction cup this to the end of your sink and put the, the bar of soap there and it will drain off the water. These are fantastic. And this is very inexpensive. And this is a embroidery hoop. I bought an embroidery kit and I didn't have the hoop, but then I bought the wrong size hoop. So it used to be a long, long time ago in 20 years of my doing needlework, you could just walk to the store and buy these for 25 cents and they would have multiple options. And now, um, as I've gotten older and time has gone by, it went from multiple stores to a huge section in, in Walmart. And then 
we would have actual fabric stores, Hancock, we would have Hancock fabrics, Joanne fabrics, um, a couple other small fabric stores. And so then they became consolidated mega fabric stores and then people stopped hobby crafting. And then the mega stores became fewer and then the smaller stores closed. And then huge hobby stores, like by the name of Hobby, and they have a sewing section, but then they're far and few between. And then now our Walmart, the notions aisle is half a row, half a row of a row. And it's like for all notions, like you need a straight needle, which kind, you know, it used to be like an entire wall of fabric. And now there's not even, it's hard to find embroidery hoops. And these are, these are no longer 25 cents. And anyway, my long drawn out explanation of, I bought a wooden embroidery hoop. And I'm sure your grandmothers have these somewhere. Um, and they are valuable to me. I've picked these up every time I see a sale um, at an estate. The first thing I look at is kitchen items and sewing notions and books. Those things are hard to find now. Um, anyhow, that's, um, I had one other thing. I had one piece of jewelry that I thought was cool. As I've mentioned once or twice, my um, education is geography and I like maps. I actually currently work in uh, my, my everyday work is in mapping. Um, and this is a very cool stainless steel die cut um, globe. And I thought that was really awesome. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna wear this as a pendant. I'm gonna try it out on this necklace. I don't know if y'all used to see me in a, a gold chain. It broke and I'm like great I just got that chain it was a very thin necklace and I wear it to sleep which you're not supposed to do and so it breaking doesn't surprise me I probably should have just got on a plated ne gold necklace but no I had to get a real gold necklace and getting those repaired is a pain so anyway um thank you for watching my quick Timu haul I have two more Timu hauls coming up and you'll be seeing this in July. It is June right now. Thank you for watching my video. Have a great day. Bye.